Hi, I'm Rob Zip and I'm with my mom. We're taking a little day trip to Brenham, Texas. Today is April 4th, 2024. We're gonna do four things. So stick around and let's have the most epic adventures. Oh. All right, we're here for some barbecue at LJ's and it looks like we're not the only content creators here. We might run into uh, Shane from the Texas Bucket List. That, that looks like his truck. LJ's. But it's Texas Monthly Top 50 Barbecue Joint 2021. Quite so lean. <laughs> the pork is jazz. Yes. It's the pork butt, so there's going to be a little bit fattier. Right. We got you. But that looks pretty lean. We can't charge you some prices and keep our locals happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've got the poblano cheese sausage. I think it's worth driving to Brenham for. It was good. It was good. <laughs> so the thing is, is it's 1.30 in the afternoon. And they are sold out of a few things. So, mom really likes turkey, but they were out of turkey. But we were thankful that they still had the sausage and the brisket available. And the sides that we actually wanted. So I really recommend when you go into any of these barbecue restaurants in Texas, get there early, like 11 a.m. Some of these places you have to line up for, like on a Saturday, all these places will have lines starting like sometimes in the middle of the night just so people can get the barbecue. I'd say come the middle of the week when they're open. Some of these places are open during the week. And get here early and you get everything you want. Thankfully, they had everything here and it is excellent. LJ's. There's some other barbecue places around here, but this one's actually cheaper and I really enjoy it. So, LJ's. What'd you think, Mom? Very good. There's the front of the place. Shoot. Top 50 in Texas. It's a big list to be on. Right here on 290. Right here in Brenham. All right. All right, stick around. We're going to our stop number two of four. First one was delicious. <laughs> All right, stop number two today is at the Brenham Heritage Museum. This used to be the old post office, but now it is a museum dedicated to the history of Brenham and Texas. The start of Texas was right here in Washington County. So continue to join us and let's continue to have the most epic adventures. Here you go, we are open. Hello spring, they have an Easter egg, Easter egg walk. So they have these like eggs all over town, mom. Yeah, yeah, that's stop number one. That's a fun thing you can do in Dallas. Yeah, here is the main entry. All right, so they gave us a little bit of information. It's $5 per adult. You get a dollar discount if you're a senior. And this is the old post office box. And every single one of these has a little art exhibit inside. Oh, that one's a pinhole. You have to look through the pinhole, that's tough. But every single one of these, like, look at that. Look at this. Oh, this boxer. Mom really liked, mom really likes this one. That's a good well, one. That's a good one for today. Yeah. It's very and, uh, Texan. <clears throat> she had it open already, so. Look at the people looking. Every single one of these has a little art exhibit. This one's a little film. This one's got a movie in it. <laughs> it's got a movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. That's kind of cute. Yeah, this is really cool. This one has a movie, too. I wonder if this whole row has movies. And that one doesn't have nothing. Oh, that one's There's got a, a TV. Train. That one's got a TV. So, yeah, this like whole row of movies. 
There's a train. Oh, here's one of an old car going down the road. More movies of old cars. That's pretty, that's really cool. Movies. <gasps> what? Is it? Oh, it's the, oh, the Isn't humanity. <laughs> That is amazing. You can just sit here all day and just look at every single one of these. That's the Hindenburg oh, that, also. Yeah. So it's different parts of the Hindenburg. Oh, no. that's definitely not the Hindenburg. Oh, that's really cool though. I, this is worth the admission just to see this. <laughs> so on the door, it tells you the uh, the artist, the name of it. Hindenburg Explodes, 1937. And this is coin purse. And the, the reference number <laughs> at the bottom. Postage stamps from various countries. So it explains what, what it is you see. Winkleman Collection, 1940 color eyes. That looks like a normal mailbox. If you look inside, you see a video on how zip codes work. <laughs> a president's vision. Actually, it's a president's portrait. Video jukebox. Video jukebox. There's an actual jukebox where you can select what video you see. So this is all previews of, uh, these are like old safety films. We're waiting to see following a postage stamp through the United States mail. So they've got all these, <laughs> three minutes till showtime. So we see have all this stuff. So you can select with the knob here Hold it down and press it. These are all the different videos you can watch here in the video jukebox. So many different videos you can watch. And we're gonna watch one about stamps. <laughs> well, this is the old post office. But all kinds of Texas history and American history. Hey, look. Showtime. Intermission. And it's already an intermission? Come on. Well, it's intermission time. So let's go get a snack. <laughs> so Mayfest is a big event that they have here. Some cities have Mardi Gras. They have Mayfest. Here's footage from old parades. Mayfest in Brenham. They've got the queens, like the tiaras down there. <clears throat> The 40th one was in 1924. That was 100 years ago. So it's coming up this May. It would be the 140th May Fest. Can you believe that? Wow. Look at the look at these crowns. And they're spinning. That's from the this They're on turntables, yeah. Look at that road. Yeah, look at this one. Look at this. <clears throat> this was from the Queen from 1981. Oh my goodness. Wow, I had. Oh, that's the train. Yeah, yeah. that's the train, and then this was the, this is the dress here, or the the, the king, the king from 1961. Wow, I had no idea about this. I, like I said, I've just driven through. Brenham on 290, just going to Austin or close to Austin. I don't know. When, when is the Mayfest parade this year? Please open drawers. Look at the little, look at the little cutie. I had no idea. It's kind it of like a Mardi Gras thing. Kind of. I mean, it's definitely some like a. A grand celebration. There are similarities. I guess it's like a cotillion kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a junior court. And they've got military garb. Because they had the military posted up here. Please open drawers. Military history here in Brenham. Sixteen millimeter shell casing. 
That's a big bullet. Got some hats. <laughs> this one, a souvenir from World War One. Yikes. And of course, you got the tractor. A lot of farming out here. Cotton farming, amongst other things. You turn the crank and land the wonders of the Plymouth tractor. Well, there it is. There it goes. <laughs> So this is the Plymouth Tractor. I can go backwards because I'm turning the crank. I'm remixing it. <laughs> oh yeah, all kind of, that's a projector down there. All kinds of cameras, film boxes for them. All, all these different cameras and I can do almost all these things with this phone I'm holding in my hand not more and this is the door this is the bank vault or like a vault for the post office this is a safe so they put all the cameras in the safe this is a really well done um, you can listen to an interview with a resident bring it bring him success bring him success story, story. yes yeah, she's a photographer Meet your future photographer. Look at that press. I need to get a tag that says press. <laughs> yeah, this is a really well put together little museum. Now we are in the basement of the old post office. Yeah, it's really cool down here. They have saddles, holy saddles, and an old cash register. This exposed brick. Lots of, uh, what, what do you call this kind of lighting? Track lighting? Yeah. Lots of track lighting for exhibits. Some old stock certificates. Look at this, the Brenham Cubs. Is that, that looks like football. Cheerleader vest. It's like it's Brenham High School. Athletics, the Cubs. Postcards, from overseas travels. Mail, old mail slots here. Some old books. And I am Peter Rabbit and Sammy Scroll. Have you guys read any of these books? Look at this old clock. It is not uh, correct. Well, I guess it'll be correct. It, it'll be correct twice a day. <laughs> yeah. But this is the Farmer's National Bank clock. Yeah, we have a whole room here with one little box with old toys. Old ten toys. This is cool. They played like played music. I'd like to see that work. Nothing else in here. Window. Window. <laughs> that's a, I think that's the firehouse next door. Mm. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. In honor of W.C. Shorts, donated by Charles W. Shorts. Oh, it's a library. So it's a library. So it's a resource room, resource room where you can come look at stuff. Just got to leave the books here. Wow, this is pretty cool. The War of the Rebellion, official records of the Union and Confederate Armies. I look at the Brenham uh, yearbooks for the school. Oh yeah. yeah. Going back a ways. I don't see any of the more recent ones though. History of Brunswick. Defenders of the Republic of Texas. So if you're doing a a study, soil survey of Washington. If you're doing like a research for a paper, you can come here. You might find some stuff you can't find nice at the local library. Yeah, those are some nice chairs and some plugs down there. Very cool. All right, the Brazos 
Heritage Museum. Nice. It's the, there isn't a whole lot there, but what they have is done really, really well. You could tell it was done recently too. Um, so it's a very nice little place. $5 is more than fair. Of course, I got a sticker and a pin. Got the pin right here on my hat for right now. But uh, yeah, our next stop is gonna be delicious. So keep watching. Yes, Russell, we are at Bluebell Creameries. And whoever else is watching, is it the best ice cream in the country? All right, guys, this is our third, our third stop out of four here on April 4th, 2024. And it is the Bluebell Creameries here in Brenham, Texas. Now, if you know me well, you know that Bluebell is not my favorite ice cream. But today we're in Brenham. We're having a nice little day trip with mom. So we're going to come and we're going to try some of their ice cream. We're going to take a little tour. I've actually never been here. So uh, hopefully you enjoy coming with us. They have a little girl pulling a cow with her milk bucket. The cowgirl. It's the cowgirl logo for Bluebell. They have a statue of it. Founders of Bluebell, signing the contracts, crossing the T's and dotting the I's. Since the early days of the Creamery, E.F. Cross and Sons, Ed and Howard, have guided the company with hard work and common sense approach to management. Today, their basic values and principles are still found throughout Bluebell and provide a solid foundation for doing business the old fashioned way. The yellow roses of Texas. Yeah, oh, look at that. Mom found the yellow roses of Texas. Pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's it smell? Smells nice too. Yeah, good. <laughs> Going into the visitor center. So, the observation deck and the uh, self guided tour closed at 2. And it's 3 o'clock. The observation deck for a self guided tour. Have you ever seen it's everywhere you can get Blue Bell ice cream. cream. I have never heard of it. Never... Alright, this is how they make the ice cream. Fresh whole milk. They homogenize it. So we're not going to be able to see any of it, so we're going to see paintings of it. <laughs> because they close at it at 2 o'clock. Even though the website says 5 o'clock. So, old advertising. Join our health club. Yogurt. Yeah, when they sold yogurt. <laughs> Shoot, an extruder. You have free paper hats. Mom's gonna, mom's gonna wear a hat. Maybe if my hair just, my, if my head's too big for it. <laughs> Where's my bun back here? Yeah, so definitely make sure to get here before two o'clock if you want to see uh, how they make the ice cream with the observation deck for the self-guided tour. Uh, the other stuff's open until 5, and I mean, that's a little misleading. They have different hours for different things. But here's the plant, plant operations building, and uh, it's not a tour entrance, so we're not going in there. They have a baseball museum here. I wonder if the baseball museum is open. We're going to go into the old uh, the ice cream parlor and country store, and the observation deck is closed. But... Uh, yeah, maybe we'll see a baseball museum if that's open. It's not very clear. They do have a baseball museum as soon as you walk in. Texas High School Baseball Coaches Association. And a couple of pros, Don Baylor. Is Don Baylor from Brenham? He might be, Don Brenham. Yeah, he might be from Brenham. Mike Stanton, he's from Midland. Giancarlo Stanton, he's not Mike Stanton anymore, he's Giancarlo Stanton. Oh no, no, that's different. That Mike Stanton and Giancarlo Stanton are two different people. <laughs> but Giancarlo used to go by Mike, so that's what confused me. But yeah, different pro ball players from around here. Justin Thompson. Texas High School Baseball Coaches Association Hall of Fame. 
right here at the Bluebell Creamery. Random. Some other former pro players here. Ricky Selheimer is from Brenham. Cecil Cooper, he's from Brenham. He So he coached the Astros for a while, but he did play for the Brewers. I didn't realize he was from Brenham. Jack Heideman played for the Indians, now the Guardians. Look at all the ice cream. So you can buy half gallons of different flavors of ice cream here. Some of these that you definitely don't see in the store. I mean, I don't look for Bluebell ice cream in the store, but have you ever had the coffee ice cream, Mom? No sugar added, reduced fat ice cream? That sounds terrible. There's all the pints you can get, and the little mini cups, the novelties. We've had these pictures on these novelty boxes forever. Take this guy on the moo bar. Look at that. Yeah. I, this construction guy. <laughs> Just a dollar a scoop. That's pretty good. Or you can get, instead of getting scoops, you can get a, a novelty item for a dollar each. That's not bad. So there are flavors today. No sugar added country vanilla, rainbow sorbet, homemade vanilla, happy tracks, black cherry, cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, Dutch chocolate, chocolate chip cookie dough, salted caramel truffle, Dr. Pepper float, Southern Blackberry Cobbler, Butter Pecan, Mocha Almond Fudge, Strawberry, and Cotton Candy. All right, it's a dollar a scoop, and these are big scoops. This is more than a scoop, um, and they don't charge tax either. It's already included. So what you got? You got cotton, cotton candy, candy and caramel salted mocha. Caramel salted mocha, and I got um, black cherry and blackberry cobbler. We got four because it's four four this twenty four. It's good. What'd you say, Mom? Mm -hmm. It tastes really like tastes like cotton candy. She says it really tastes like cotton candy. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like ice cream cotton candy. I don't like coffee. I don't want mocha. It don't taste coffee. I don't want uh, And then this is the blackberry. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice, they say, right? all right. That's what this one is? Yeah. It's the black cherry. You, th you thought the, the blackberry is better than the black cherry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's so good though. I like the black cherry. I mean, I guess it tastes a lot better in the factory than in the grocery store. But let's see how gassy I get. Sometimes... The milk that uses RBST makes me really gassy. Well, we said we wanted four because it's 4-4, four, four, but I think one each would have been plenty. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, we just wanted to taste it. We don't have to. We're not, I'm not going to eat all this. She's not going to eat all that. That's a mocha. I don't do caffeine, so I don't like, I didn't try any of that. But Mom tried about four. Which one do you like the best? The cotton candy one? Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's it. <laughs> hey, look, the Easter Bunny is here, even. All right, we finished enjoying our ice cream. Now it's time to go to the gift shop. All kinds of fun stuff. for all your, if you're gonna take some ice cream home, you're gonna have an insulated bag, plush, plushes. That's cool that they're using the ice cream buckets to hold the pens, the pans, and look at this cow, mom. Oh, how cute. <laughs> little tongue sticking out. Yeah, and a little, little X where the nipples would be. <laughs> Backpacks, t-shirts, little ice cream scoops and mouse pads, ornaments. 
Rhubar ornaments. They have socks, hats, more little light up ornaments. Got adult tees, all kinds of shirts. I'm cranky without my bluebell. Is that you, Russell? Are you cranky without your bluebell? Cups. Not Stanley's. Look at these cows. They got the little bluebell logo bib. $25. All right. I got my sticker and my pen. We ate some ice cream. Feeling a little gassy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but uh, the adventures are not over. We still got one more stop here in Brenham to go. So stick around. Let's enjoy nature together. All right, here we are at stop four of four on April 4th, 2024. We are at the Baylor Female College on Academy Hill. This is called Old Baylor Park. This was the original site of Baylor University when it was formed in 1845. And this is what's left. Obviously, the mowing. <laughs> Look at these old oak trees. You guys know I love the trees and love these old oaks. Wow, these are huge. Look at them twisting and turning over there into the ground. There's a nice swing set. And there's some blue bonnets out here and some Indian paintbrushes. There's some little trails. Um, the blue bonnets aren't out as much as they were a couple weeks ago. We've gotten a lot of rain. So the blue bonnets may come back a little bit but it's still a beautiful site. And this is a public park. It's a lot. <laughs> and then here's Shane from the Texas bucket list again. Let's see, let's see if he waves. Hey Shane. <laughs> Imagine seeing him twice and, and the same day. Two of our four stops, we've run into this guy. <laughs> and now he's leaving. He's leaving. He didn't want to collaborate. <laughs> yeah, there's some blue bonnets out there, mom. I'm here, hashtag enjoying nature here at Old Baylor Park with all these wonderful oak trees behind me. The blue bonnets over to the, the swing is not made for someone as wide as me. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day. It's a chamber of commerce type day, right mom? You've got your hat so they, they do have some trail they do have some trails I want you to stay on the trail so you don't mess up the uh, mess up the plants but you can go and you get your picture with the flowers mom you want to go I know the flowers are not as abundant as normal but they're still there should I get my chair get your chair ah oh, the sweet sounds of lawnmowers in the background And chemtrails, right? Oh no, that's just the light from the sun. Are you guys going anywhere to see the uh, the eclipse in four days on Monday? I'm gonna be working. I'm gonna be doing tours at Minute Maid Park, so I'm not gonna see the uh, eclipse. This might be a good place to see it. The old Baylor's Park. All right, mom, we just had a little photo shoot with you here. So you can post that on your Facebook. <laughs> Got this house in the background. You can still see some blue bonnets here. Some Indian paint brushes. What are the yellow ones called? Just um, little day, yellow. just like yellow, <laughs> yellow flowers. Yeah, see some, yeah. Oh, so she's, she's looking at the pictures I sent to her. <laughs> you really kind of, I mean, there's a bathroom here the bathroom there's a couple of historical markers obviously there's a guy making sure there are no blue bonnets over there he's mowing them down this is a really nice park the original site of Baylor University who knew I guess people that live here in Independence Texas knew but I never knew that I've never been to never made a stop here in Independence let's take a look at this house you can still see that guy still mowing down 
what could be a nice little uh, blue bonnet field right there. Just making sure the bathroom's nice and clear. This is what blue bonnets look like up close. And Indian paintbrushes, these are the red ones. And again, I don't remember the name of the yellow ones. If you know, leave it in the comments, it would really help. All right, guys, that, that's going to be it for today. Keep watching. Let me he to hear my final thoughts. Thanks for coming with me and my mom today on April 4th, 2024. Yes, there are four smokestacks behind me. This was our fourth stop. I hope you enjoyed coming with us to all of them here in Brenham and in Independence, Texas. I'm going to be going on a big trip to Las Vegas and somewhere else very special right after that coming up next week. I got a live stream coming up on Monday. I deleted the one from last Monday that's okay um, but thanks for coming with us today we drank water we listened to metal on the way we enjoyed nature and we had the most epic adventures thanks to you joining us so until next time guys remember i love you Mwah.